Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Florian Schäfer and in the last videos I've shown you how to create your own Panda Power Network, how to run Powerflow calculations and how to analyze the data with the Pandas data frame commands. And you might have wondered, is this guy only looking at the console all day? To be honest, yes, but you don't have to do it like this. You can use the plotting functions we have in Panda Power. They are pretty advanced one and they are pretty simple ones. And the simple ones are the ones we're going to look at right now. For this, we're going to have a look at this example here, the MB Oberrhein grid. We're going to load that one and then we're going to plot it in three different ways. And for this, we have to import the Panda Power Networks first, like this. And we have to import the plotting functions right now, which are imported like pandapower.plotting. And then we import the simple plot function, the simple plotly function, and the pfres plotly function. We load the grid as last time, and then we only have to do simple plot net hit start. And what you see now in the background is this window opening here. And this is a very basic version of the plot. It's only blue dots connecting lines and the external grids are shown as yellow squares. You can zoom in, but that's practically it, it doesn't scale and it has one advantage so if you want to save the plot or if you save the plot you cannot save it only as a png but you can also save it as an svg so you have you can have it scalable for papers or whatever you want it for this is as i've said not very interactive and you don't get much information out of it so this is why there's another function called simple plotly which is opening in or which opens in the browser another window which is shown here the plot kind of looks the same but you might notice if you hover over the buses for example or over the lines you see some information about the elements in the grid so you can get some information out of that plot you can zoom in as well and you see that the plot is scaling the the resolution it has a disadvantage if you save it, it's only savable as a PhD, uh, PNG or you have to buy an account from Plotly. If you want to see the power flow results, you can use the third function, which is called PFRES Plotly. And it's called in the same way as the last one. It opens in the browser as well. And here you see the power flow results for the grid. So you see the bus voltages uh, like in this color map here and you see the line loadings uh, like uh, in the other color map. Uh, you can zoom in as well. And if you hover over it, you see the line loading in percent in Ka and the bus voltages in per unit as well as in Kv. Okay, um, this is as I said, has the disadvantage if you do the plots and you want to do them for a paper, they're not very high resolution, they're only PNGs. So if you want to have high resolution plots, you should use the matplotlib collections. And this is what I'm going to show you in the next video.